welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here. Today's video is going to be a fun one. Today is going to be a very bookish related video. As you can probably tell, I am in the middle of getting ready. It is 8.20 right now. My daughter is down for her first nap of the day, so I wanted to quickly put on a little bit of makeup. I actually need to take her to the pediatrician today just for her 12-month checkup. She did just turn one. So she does have a doctor's appointment this morning. We're actually going to be close to a Goodwill that I like going there to look at books. So we're going to go look at books today. I'm really, really excited. I don't actually need any books. Obviously, I have so many that I still need to read, but I just thought it'd be fun to at least kind of look, see if they have anything that I just can't live without or any books that have been on my wish list. So we'll see what books they have there. But that's the plan for today. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I'm going to finish putting on makeup and do my hair and then hopefully Ava will have slept at least a little bit we do need to leave in about an hour she hasn't quite fallen asleep yet so hopefully she sleeps soon but I'm gonna finish putting on some makeup I'm gonna drink my coffee that I need to go warm up yet again and then um, if she's still sleeping before we leave I'm going to read and then I'll talk about the book that I am reading okay so I just finished putting on makeup I decided to not really fix my hair it is hair washing day so I just put it in a ponytail so Warmed up my coffee yet again. Okay, after we go to Ava's doctor, like I mentioned, we're gonna run to the Goodwill right there. And I have this theory, and I have no idea if it's going to prove true or not, but the local library here just did a huge, huge, huge library book sale, and I picked up a whole ton of stuff. Did I show it on this channel? I don't remember if I talked about it on this channel or my, I think I did on this channel, um, not my crafting channel. I think I talked about it on this channel. Anyways. I have chair cushions on the chair and they keep sliding. So here's my theory. I'm thinking that people who bought all these new books maybe did somewhat of an unhaul and brought them to Goodwill over the weekend. I don't know if this is gonna be true or not. I could be completely wrong. I probably will be wrong, but that's my theory. So yeah, when we go to Goodwill, I'm going to see if they have any sort of book that I've been wanting to read, any sort of book that I can't live without. Okay, so yes. So the plan is to go to the thrift store, look at the books, see what they have. Probably not buy anything or maybe like one or two books. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> so I have just a few minutes before I need to wake Ava back up and get her ready for the doctor. So I need to get like snacks and food and stuff like that ready. Um, just because it'll probably be gone just a little bit longer than normal and the doctor always takes longer I always get there extra early and they always see us extra late. So anyways books Okay, the book that I'm currently reading is the bear and the nightingale. This is by Catherine Arden This is the first book of a trilogy and I had started this like a couple of weeks ago I forgot about it I had returned all the books to the library and then I found this hidden under a pile of clothes And then I got an email saying that they automatically renewed it for me And so I thought uh oh, I need to read this so I don't know why I hadn't read it previously. I remember reading like the first 50 pages in like a second and it was so good. And then I think what happened was it was during the time of Ava's first birthday and getting everything ready and family came into town and stuff like that. So I think that's what made me forget about this book. So anyways, I picked it back up yesterday and I am on page 149 and it is so, so good. It's only like 300 pages. So my goal is to get this read today, but I'm really, really enjoying this. I don't... I'm, it's so good, but it's also, I don't know what I think about it. Like it's either just amazing or it's either not. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So basically we're following a family and this family has several, there are several siblings within the family. There are several different dynamics. It's set in Russia. So it's very wintry, very cold and very fairy tale esque So we have kind of the father, the father. And he has several children and he was married and his wife had one last child. And that last child, her name is Vasya, I think is how you pronounce it. We know that she's very special and we know that there's a lot of magic. And we know that in her mom's lineage, there are magicians, or not magicians, but they have magic. And so um, it's very frowned upon. It's a very, very, it's very like ritualistic. The members of the village and the time, they're very, very strong, devout Catholics and Christians and um, in their faith. And so there's a lot of kind of demons and a lot of creatures that Vasya can see and some other, you know, this whole other kind of world. And so that aspect, I'm having a difficult time realizing if it's demonic or if it's just 
a fairy tale. And so that is what I'm struggling with. But with that aside, it's really, really good. And like I said, it is a trilogy. So I'm sure it's going to just get even better. And we're probably going to dive into that other fairy tale world. And it's a very like dark evil fairies or fairy tale. So I don't want to say a lot because I don't want to spoil it, but we're really just following just the different lives and Vasya is kind of our main character, but we're still kind of not focused solely on her. We're focused on just a lot of different elements and characters and stories. I'm having a really enjoyable time with it. And of course it's the perfect season to read this because it is very cold and wintry and it's not Christmassy. It's not cozy. It's not cozy winter. It's very cold, dreary, bitter, cold type of yeah, I, I want to continue reading it because the writing is beautiful. It's very, very fairy tale esque, very, very dark fairy tale. So I am curious how the rest of the book will go. And as of right now, I don't think I will continue with the trilogy, but I feel like we also don't know a lot of the story. And so I want to know kind of the gist of the story, the plot. Like, there's not really a plot right now, I'm just kind of following these characters. I'm having a good time with it. And so I'm just taking it face value. I'm just reading it as like a fairy tale. Um, but the demon aspect is, is interesting to me. I'm having a good time with it. I'm gonna finish it. And so that is the book that I am going to be focusing on. Hopefully I can get it done today. I have just about 20 minutes because I've been rambling for way too long. I have about 20 minutes before we need to kind of get ready. So I'm gonna spend that time reading just for a little bit. And then like I said, get Ava ready and get food and stuff and then head out the door. So that is the plan. Yeah, I'm excited to take you along with me today. I have a very bookish themed vlog. So I'm very excited for that. So, all right, time to go read for a little bit. <laughs> So we are at the thrift store right now. We just parked. We just finished with Ava's pediatrician. Everything is great. She is perfect. So we are going to go in and see if they have any books that I can't live without. I'm really wanting some like cool popular books or books that are on my like mental TBR. So we'll see what they have. They either will have nothing or what I want. Time will tell. It's exciting. It's fun. So we're going to go in. We'll be really, really quick because Ava needs to get home and eat and nap and everything like that. So... Let's go in and see what they have. La, 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 la. done at the thrift store we are headed home I actually found a good stack of books surprisingly they had 
random ones, of course. Yeah, I didn't know what my expectations were, so I'm excited for the ones that I did get. So I'll go over them when we get in there, but they had a few things like Colleen Hoover. They had a couple of her books. I'm not gonna read her book, so um, that wasn't interesting to me, but they had a few, quite a lot actually, of some classics that looked like they were in great condition. They had a couple Little Women, but I already have Little Women. They had a really good, they had a really good copy of Jane Eyre, which I'm pretty sure I already have Jane Eyre. If not, I've already read it, so, but I think I have in a collection somewhere so yeah they had a good a good amount of some classic i was kind of hoping for maybe like a thriller so anyways yeah they had some good a somewhat good selection of books so i did get a few so i'm excited for these little, the ones that i did get um we're gonna head home i'm going to give ava some lunch or at least a snack put her down for a nap i'll show you the books that i did pick up i'm debating whether or not to stop for coffee i think i'm just gonna make some at home yeah, I think I'll just make a pot of coffee at home and just have that and then try to get some reading done. But I'll go over the books that I did pick up, which I'm excited for. So, okay, first we need to get home, get Ava fed and in bed. All right, so we are back home. Ava has eaten some lunch. She is down for her nap. So I made myself a fresh pot of coffee and I am so excited for this first sip. So good, so worth it. Okay, so let's talk about the books that we got from the thrift store. I feel kind of indifferent about their book selection. I mean, every time you go, they're like the same book. So I never have just amazing success, but for some reason I just always go in with the hope of like, oh, maybe there's this particular book or maybe they have this. So maybe my expectations were too high. Anyways, I still am excited for the book choice that I did get. So the first one that I got is Dracula from Bram Stoker. I've actually never read this and this copy is actually in pretty good condition. Um, it's got the deckled edged pages, which I personally love. I know some people don't, but I love them. And so yeah, it's just a good, it is a good copy of this book. So I am excited to eventually get to it. It probably will be in a while. I'm thinking like maybe even like next fall because it does feel like a very october -y fall type of read. I have a ceiling fan on it, it's so cold. I'm gonna go turn it off. It's a very cloudy day here today, and so, which is pretty rare. Um, so I'm having a lot of fun. Um, it's very chilly, thankfully. Well, it's probably like 70 degrees, but that's chilly for us here. So that's the first book. The second book that I got is called The Millionaires by Matt Brad Meltzer. This one came out in 2002. So this is definitely an older book, but this author, he has a few other books out, but this is kind of a heist. From what I understand, it's about different, it's about two brothers who decide to rob a bank and then somehow the money goes missing. There's like a PI involved. So I think that it could be an interesting book. Yeah, like I said, it's about a heist. And so I think that that might be interesting. Now that I'm looking through these books, I'm like, why did I pick these? <laughs> They're just so random. Then I got A Man Called Ove. This is by Frederick Bachman or Bachman. Um, this is in great condition. It looks like it wasn't even read. I have not seen the movie. I know we had started the movie and when we had started, I felt like it was going to be a little bit sad or something. So I decided to not watch it at that time, but I went ahead and still got the book. I think it is going to be, I think it will be a good book to read at some point. Um, it probably will be a while before I get to it. Okay, I got three more books. So I got a total of six books. I ended up spending $14 for all six books, which I think is great. I got Atonement by Ian McEwen. I actually never saw the movie with Keira Knightley, but they had the book there, so I thought I would go ahead and read the book and then maybe eventually watch the movie. Yeah, I mean, this was $2. They were all about $2, so I thought I would go ahead and get it, and I, I would, I think I would enjoy this book. I just need to read it. Then I got, I'm guessing this is a middle grade. Sometimes when I go there, I'm always looking for middle grades as well to get for Ava or when she becomes of age, stuff like that, or for me too, but so the next book I got is The Grim Legacy. This is by Polly Shulman. I'm thinking this is a middle grade, but basically it's as if the fairy tales, like the Brothers Grimm fairy tales actually existed and actually were real. So they were following a girl and a couple boys and just their exciting adventures. So I thought that could be interesting. I'll read it before I let Ava read it. Obviously that's years away, but when I see books like that that I think she would like in the future, then I go ahead and I get them. Okay, then the very final book is City of Ashes. This is the second or the sequel to City of Bone. So I actually got City of Bones from our library book sale last week, or I guess was it two weeks ago now? No, 
almost two weeks ago. Wow, like a week and a half ago. Anyways, they had City of Phones there. So I had picked it up thinking maybe eventually I would read it. Then when we were at Goodwill, they had the fifth book of the series. I was like, I'm not gonna get the fifth book. I was like, maybe if they had the second one and I kept looking and they did have the second one. And it's also in really, really good condition. I don't think it's ever been read, honestly. So I went ahead and picked it up and I still haven't even read the first one. I don't know if it's even something that I would actually enjoy. I don't know, they might be too silly for me. Maybe at some point I will get to them. I think that it's a series that you need to kind of power through and they get better with time. So maybe at some point I will get to them, but I thought I'd go ahead and pick up the second one just because it was there. So um, there are a few other ones that I've shown you um, in little clips too. They had quite a few classic selections. They're classics that I already own. They did have a really good copy of Kind of Funny Cristo, but I already have that one. Or do I have it? I have Les Mis. Was I thinking I had Count of Monte Cristo? Huh, I don't actually think that I do have Count of Monte Cristo. I thought I had, I thought I had it, but I think I was thinking of Les Mis that I have. It's fine. I wouldn't be getting to that anytime soon. So yeah, but they had quite a few selections of classics, either books that I already own, books that I wasn't interested in, that sort of thing. But yeah, overall it was a fun time. I feel that it was successful and I enjoyed going there, looking through the books. It's always a hunt for sure, but it's still very fun, very interesting. So that is my little book haul. So now what I'm going to do is see if Ava's sleeping because now she's just playing in her crib. I think she's getting there. She's definitely exhausted. So once she actually goes to sleep, I'm gonna get comfortable. I'm gonna read my book and just have a very relaxing afternoon. I just got really tired. So I don't know if I'm gonna take a nap or just, I don't know what I'm going to do. Nap kind of sounds nice. Maybe I'll like drink coffee, read and take a little nap. We'll see if I actually do take naps. It's very rare when I actually take a nap, just cause usually it's like, I get everything done that needs to get done while Ava's sleeping and, you know, try to hurry and everything. By the time I actually lay down to take a nap, she wakes up like without fail every time. I don't know what it is. I think she like, she knows. She's like, oh, mom's sleeping, time to wake up. So yeah, I'll see if I actually take a nap or maybe just rest or something. But yeah, I'm excited for the books that I did end up getting. I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be it for this video actually. I was gonna kind of take you along, um, but I think this video would end up being very, very long. So. I would like to finish The Bear and the Nightingale today. I'm very close to 200 pages and I'm very, very, very much enjoying it. It's getting so good. I love her writing. I love the story. Just this kind of dark, almost sinister fairy tale. It's very, very good. There's a lot of unknowns and so you have to, of course, read to find out what they are. So I'm going to continue reading and just enjoying the afternoon. And then in my next video, I will do another update. I also have a lot of library books that I ordered that hopefully will come in today or tomorrow. So that will be another fun time to head to the library to get all those books. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.